So what we are gonna do today? I don't hear you. I have the headphones on my head. Hello guys, I'm Madeline. Welcome back to my channel. As you can guess, uh, we are gonna model um, some headphones in this tutorial. So let's get into it. That's the test that I made. Okay, we are here with the basic scene. So we don't need you guys. Get away with it. Now, first off, I've made some uh, photos of uh, some of my headphones. And I have some references which I can bring. Bring a cube and uh, I make this cube a little smaller. Now I can take a look at the dimensions. That's like the, the size of the headphones. Now let's see, I'm gonna enable scene through and I can play a little bit with the scale. Mm, yes, that's pretty much there. Maybe I can I can play a little bit with the size. Let's see, 20. 19.5. Okay, so let's see. I'm gonna rotate on y-axis 90 degrees. Now that's also invisible. I'm gonna delete this because I don't need that cube anymore. Because the first thing that we are gonna start with it's a cylinder. So we have we have here a cylinder. I guess I'm gonna keep it too much in into the depth of it. I'm gonna bring it close to the spot. And I'm gonna try to scale it closer, close to the photo. So a little bit more by the scale. So I need to scale it a little bit more. Now. Okay. And if I press G then Y twice, I'm gonna go into local Y and I can adjust it on the spot okay so that's too much let's see how much i have to move it somewhere around here and i'm gonna select also this words g y twice that's perfect so i'm gonna select these two points Go into proportional editing, smooth it's fine. And uh, scale on local Y. Now let's see how we are going. Something like this, maybe a little bit smaller. Just like that. G and Y, oh, of course I have to enable the shortcut UI. Okay, and I'm gonna select also these words. Two times Y. Also, I'm gonna disable the proportional editing. Somewhere like that. Perfect. Now, this shape. Let's hear it. This face here, it's smaller so, so I pu I'm putting a paper on it just like that is good shade smooth and I'm gonna enable auto normals now I'm gonna put an empty plain axis so if I have a if I add a mirror modifier and design the empty as a the point of mirroring. Now I have both of these objects in place. I'm gonna bring a plane also. I'll scale it, rotate on y 90 degrees. So let's see how we are getting with it. That's gonna be the scale somewhere around here. And let's see where I place it on the x-axis 
apply the scale. I'm gonna delete, delete these parts. It's gonna be just much easier for me to work only with these parts. And what I can do even more, add a mirror modifier at the end, the point of mirroring, it's here. I'm gonna enable clipping and uh, go right in the middle. Let's see where it points. I'm gonna get this here. So for the moment, I'm just gonna make this curve. I'm gonna go into the side view. Let's see where we are. And if I select everything, I can press extrude on Z axis. Something like that. Let's see which faces we are gonna select till here. These faces are gonna be separated, P, and uh, that's bringing the menu for se separation. And we select selection as the separated part. Now, uh, this plane is gonna be also separated because it's a, it's another object here. I can separate it also, and uh, now we are having all, only this plane here, which we can uh, edit already. And yes, it's messing up. Yes, the face here was um, on the other side. Alt N and flip. It's gonna flip the normal. That's perfect. Now here, this edge, it's. It's still straight, and uh, as the this earbud, it's slightly curved. Curved. I'm gonna put it somewhere around here. Let me see how much space we are having. And with this, we can put two edge loops here, and I'm gonna move this just a little bit. G, Y, that's perfect. Let's see how much I have to move them on X axis. Perfect. I'm gonna select these faces and I'm gonna get them closer to that object. G, Y, let's see. Yep, that's close enough. Of course, if I'm taking a look, here, this, uh, this area, this arm area, it's slightly curved. Move them on X axis just a little bit. So it's just an, an idea. That's perfect. Let's see. I'm gonna select everything from here. Scale on Z axis somewhere around. Now I'm gonna select this face and I'll extrude. Let's see how it looks with the extrusion. But now if I take a look here in the thing, it's separated. So I'm going to separate also these faces. If I go into the local view, it is really pressing F, it's going to faces on the object here. And I'm going to go also here. F, I have faces also on this object. Now that's perfect. It's going to be, be helpful as we are going to add uh, the subdivide modifier. I'm gonna add an edge loop here. Scale on Z axis, something like that. And I'm gonna press G twice. If I get this shape right where it needs to be. That's perfect. Okay, so let's work also on uh, this. I'm going to select this edge, put it more backwards. backwards. So I get out some things out of uh, this object here. As this is slightly in a different plane, it's entering inside this arm. I'm going to move it on my axis, something like that. Now, now let's see. If I select all the faces around here, I'm going to press E. OK. That's, that's perfect. Shift D, I'm gonna duplicate these faces, P, separate 
the selection. Now I have another selection around here. I can enter in edit mode, select again all the faces, and uh, let's see where, where I need to, to put it. And I'm gonna put an edge loop around here. G, Y. In this area has to be straight. And uh, here, another edge loop. And I'm gonna move it somewhere around here. So from here, I'm following this kind of a line because this part of the face is just the perspective as it's getting deep into the, the space. And the last two points, which are going to be moved right inside here. Now again, I'm going to put another uh, edge loop. I need to, to merge the words. I'm going to enable auto merge of the words. And I'm going to put them here. I need to do the same. Yeah. That's pretty much right on the curve. So I'm going to select these edges here. Scale Z, something like that. And of course, we are going to need uh, a quad also here. So the solving method for this is going to be enabling again auto merge. I'm going to bring these words here. And also, also these words are going to be here. Now I'm going to edge selection. I'm going to select these edges and uh, dissolve edges. Now I have a quad. That's just perfect. Okay, the shape is pretty good. Now let's see how we are gonna do the supports. Something like that. I'm gonna press E for even and uh, F for flip. Something like that. Now, what I can do, it's selecting these edges. I'll try to, to keep it pretty straight. Let's see how it goes. Scale on Z axis. Oh. Scale on Z axis. Now it's much more visible. I can put them pretty straight. I'm gonna put two edge loops here and two edge loops here. I'm gonna go for edge selection, scale on Z axis, now selecting these edges, scale Z. Here I have to go a little bit more and here I'm gonna go on Y axis just a little bit and also here I have two edge loops around the area going on Y axis hopefully I didn't mess up too much that's that's good now I'm gonna select this G and Y so I can go much more I'm gonna select these three edges because also the other uh, arm it's having uh, uh, an angle it's following the ears here I'm gonna select these two faces Kill them a little bit more on Z axis, something like that. Now I can select these three faces, extrude, put them on the same place. Now string flatten should help me to get them perfectly. Uh, 028. I'm gonna do the same here, extrude, 0, 
8. Perfecto. So I'm gonna delete these faces around here. Also this one. And now if I select this edge and press F, it's gonna generate me in the perfect faces around here. Doing the same here. EG X. Just a small adjustment. Let's see. Something like that. These faces uh, needed to be more in front. Here everything looks good. Pretty good. Maybe I'm gonna move it. Move this one here. Going to faces and I'm gonna select all the pieces here. Extrude. Train platen. And I'm gonna do the same on the other side. Perfect. Let's see how it looks subdivided. Pretty good. Now going into a selection again, I'm gonna select this these edges here, also here, and I'm gonna press G twice so I can move them somewhere like here. And I'm gonna try to move this a little bit closer so it's gonna get when it's gonna be subdivided it's gonna get a more round shape. Okay let's take a look. I'm gonna extrude this here the X something like that. Going here, control B, some person, I don't need it, offset, and I guess it's something like that. Around this area, I'm gonna put an edge loop here, and now I'm gonna select this faces B selection, the selection is separated. Now I will go into the local view, extrude, M to merge at center. Now it's having a face. Let's go into local view also for this, so we can solve the thing also here. Perfect. Out of local view. Now we are doing the cushion of uh, the headphones, the earbuds, I guess they are named, shift D, D selection, now I have this right in place, I'm gonna, now let's see this, this here is another, another texture, so, uh, I'm gonna separate it. Here, I'm pressing Ctrl B. I'm gonna bring two faces. I'm gonna change the shape from here to something like that. I'm gonna bring an edge close around here and I'm gonna select these edges, bring them, bring them somewhere like like that, another edge, scale it a little bit, going on x-axis, something like that, that's more visible now. I'm gonna put two edge loops and I'm gonna scale them a little bit so it looks more curved, as this is, uh, this is plush, plushy, you, you are supposed to compress it. Here another edge loop, something like that. Also here I'm bringing a, a small curve. Yes, that's pretty fine. I'm gonna extrude this here, scaled a little bit. Now I can go to this area and do something like that. So they are they are meeting somewhere 
the, mat the materials of it. Let's enable smooth again. Now, as, as we can see, here this area, it's getting round, but I forget something. Because I always have to forget something. Here we don't have any faces. Okay. Now that's pretty smooth here. I can select this edges. Because if we look, let me disable uh, the objects. If you take a look, this has uh, a bevel. This arm is having a bevel around here. So uh, I'm gonna do this thing with my mesh. Now with everything selected from here, I can uh, press Ctrl B. Of course, it's with the last settings, 0.5, and segments. Only one segment, it's, it's enough. Maybe I'm gonna go a little bit smaller. Let's say 0 0.13, something like that. Oh, I have already 44 minutes of recording. So I guess for, uh, for the first part, that's gonna be the model. Of course, the model is gonna be available on my CD Trader account for free. It's, uh, it's gonna be there. I'm gonna leave a link down into the description. Uh, for the moment, the model is gonna be just like that. And as I proceed to the, through the tutorials, uh, I'm gonna doing, I'm gonna do updates to the CG Trader post. That was the tutorial. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, you learned something new. Please leave me a like, subscribe. It's uh, so supportive. And uh, comment if you have any questions. Bye.